Hello and welcome to how to morph a skeletal mesh in Unreal Engine. Um, as you can see here, we have the mannequin character who's running around with an abnormally large head. So this is what I'm going to quickly show you how to do. Right, so this is all done within the animation blueprint. So in order to get to the animation blueprint, um, I'm just selecting the character here and you can actually see the animation class here is set to uh, third person Ami Blue P. And if you click on the magnifying glass, it's going to take you to take you to the blueprint. And double click and open up the blueprint. Now, if you are looking at the blueprint standardly, it's going to look like this. Well, actually it might not because you might not be coming in on this point. But if you open up the blueprint and dependent on where you start off, you want to find the AMI graph here. So I'm just going to compile to put that back to how it was. And if you double click on the AMI graph, it should take you to a screen which looks like this. Now, in order to morph or change any of the bones, what we're going to do is I'm going to we're going to do this, but I'll walk through how to do it. OK, so the first thing is, is this is the state machine, which is generating the animations so it's plugging into the output pose. So we need to break that. So hold down Alt and left click and then pull off. And this is the full body. So what we want to do is we want to go local to component. This is going to allow us to alter a specific component. And what we want to do, just remember, is transform, transform or modify a bone. OK. Now let's connect this up on the other side. And to do that, because we've gone from white to the blue man, that means this is a singular component, we want to go back to local. So search uh, component to local and plug that into the output here. Now, this node, if you select it in the details panel, you're going to get up some data that you can change. The uh, first thing that we're looking to change really is to select a bone. This is going to be what we alter. So in this case, in the example here, we were using the head. OK, now, so this is now geared towards modifying the head. Now, on a transform, we have translation, rotation and scale. And here you can see we have translation, rotation and scale. Now, you could move, you could change any three of these. But the only one that I'm looking at in this example is scale. So rather than setting it to ignore, let's change it to replace existing in component space. Now, if I double the numbers, if I change the scale and compile, you can see that we have a morphed head. OK, now you don't have to stop there. If I was to grab this and control W, I can daisy chain these things together. And rather than that, I'm going to try, I'm going to try with, with an arm. So if I went upper left arm and compiled, you can see we have one large arm. I wanted to even him out. Could copy. Uh, to do the same thing. But this time I'm going to do it with the upper right arm. And compile again. And now we have crazy big armed man. So, and if I come back into the world, you can see what we have. OK, so that's basically how to morph it using the animation blueprint. Thank you very much for watching.